So a little over a day has gone by since the reveal of the leaks for the Ninjago sets and now we finally have official HD images of the 2023 Ninjago summer set wave. So without further ado, let's just dive right into this stuff because I know you guys are probably as excited as I am. Uh, the very first set here, we actually didn't have leaked yesterday and this is the Temple of the Dragon's Energy Cores. Definitely a little bit of a funky name, but overall I'm actually really loving this build. I I think it's really simple but it does the job well and it's giving me those skybound lighthouse set vibes where i really just like the structure of this build and the fact that it just has this bonsai looking tree that's just emerging from the side of this building adds such a simple yet complex level of architecture to the set aesthetically it just looks really pleasing i'm a really big fan of this one and i believe this is the second most expensive set in the wave and you get six minifigures, one of them being some weird, green, mysterious, hooded figure. I wonder who that is. Is that an antagonist? Is this the real main villain behind the whole season? <laughs> I can't wait to find out, and I'm sure you guys are too. But yeah, this one definitely gets my stamp of approval. Next up is the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time, and I made a mistake in yesterday's video where I said this set didn't have a dragon head, but since then we have learned that the whole set comes with a detachable dragon, that's right, you get a dragon in this set too, and you can actually store it in the front part of the ship and use that dragon head as the actual dragon head for the bounty, and I think that's such a smart idea, especially with that teal coloring, since it just complements the color with the yellow and teal towards the back of the ship so I think that was a great design choice by Lego definitely something to spice up the set itself you get four minifigures or actually five um, I believe Sora is the character who's riding the dragon itself correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below and then you get uh, Lloyd Master Wu Kai and Rapton and of course you get baby Ryu and I can't forget about Aaron. Oh my God. I almost uh, completely forgot about him there. He's swinging down on the bounty itself. So it looks like he actually gets six minifigures in this set, which is awesome. This definitely also gets my stamp of approval as well. Next up is the elemental dragon versus the Empress mech. And I once again made a mistake in yesterday's video. I classified the Empress mech as its own separate set, but that is just simply not true. It is actually part of this larger set. And and I think that's awesome because having a mech versus dragon battle is something I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys while playing with your Ninjago sets have probably recreated a few times here and there. And overall, I have to say I am pleasantly surprised with how good I like the elemental dragon, but it's only in certain stances. I still feel like that neck to torso connection just looks a little weird and it just looks like he has this gigantic beer belly. I don't know there's something off-putting but in certain angles especially how it is on the promotional art for the box it does look kind of good but I'm just afraid that once you actually build this thing it doesn't look as good as it looks like in the promotional art so we'll see there um, we also get a plethora of minifigures in this set as well uh, we get a total of six I believe and also baby Ryu so that's awesome to see and yeah overall I think this one is definitely I'm a little lower on this one than I am on the previous two sets, but it's definitely still a great set. I think in terms of play, it has great value. You just have these two giant Titan things fighting each other, causing havoc. I didn't even mention that Jay has his own little glider in this set as well. It's just an awesome play set for kids. And I'm sure that if you pick this up as a gift for them, they're gonna have a lovely time enjoying the play with this one. Following that, we actually have a set that leaked months back, I believe in January. This is Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team Mech. This is something that really reminds me of Bionicle. There's this one yellow Bionicle character. I forget his name, but I actually own the set. He has this like menacing red eye piece and it looks exactly like this Lloyd mech here. And I have to say they definitely took some liberties here with the design. It's a very bold design and it does pay off in my opinion because we haven't seen something like this before in Ninjago. It just looks like this gigantic sensei mech and I'm kind of digging it. You know, um, Aaron's 
Rogue's mech, I'm kind of eh, a little bit indifferent about. It's not really a deal breaker for me, but it's also not the reason why I would be picking this setup if I did so choose. But yeah, I mean, overall, you get a good selection of minifigures. I believe five total. You get three baddies and uh, Lloyd as well as Aaron. It's a good solid set for what you get. And obviously, value-wise, two mechs in one set, I mean, it's a no-brainer, right? Especially if you love Lloyd. This is definitely a set that you guys should consider picking up. After that, we've got the Heat Wave Transforming Lava Dragon. And just like I said yesterday, this is definitely, in my opinion, the better looking dragon of the two. Um, personally, I just per I just like this dragon a lot more. I really like how it kind of looks like a minotaur with the bull horns. It just looks fantastic. I don't know what Lord Ross is doing with that floating wolf chair. It looks like some kind of little gimmicky glider. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks a little goofy, so I don't really know how I feel about that. But obviously, the main draw of this set is the actual dragon itself. I personally think this is the best dragon in the wave. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but that that is definitely a feeling that I have. I don't know. I'm just I'm a really big fan of this one. This is definitely one that I could see myself picking up day one, as well as that temple set. So this is definitely a uh, nine out of ten for me. Right after that, we have Soar's transforming mech bike racer, and I have to say, guys, this might come to you as a shock. But I think this is my favorite set of the wave. This is just something so different that we've never seen before. And I am so here for it, guys. This thing looks absolutely crazy, wonky. But the colors look great. The pink, the white, the deep navy blue. It all just works. I don't know why, but this thing just really draws my eye to it. And apparently you can actually transform into a bike as well, which I think is the coolest thing ever. I think kids are going to have a lovely time playing with this thing. And I just want to display this on my shelf i think it's an, a definite eye catcher definitely something that could uh, start a conversation if i have friends over it's just definitely something that i would want to have in my ninjago collection something that hasn't been done before in this uh, uh, theme and i think that's just a huge overall point with a lot of these sets where they look really wacky and crazy but i think that the designers took the necessary liberties that they needed to make this wave just differentiate itself from the past ninjago waves that we've gotten because we're already on like what year 11 12 13 of this series and they definitely just needed to spice things up and this set definitely answers the call so i'm a very big fan of this one all right, we're getting to the end here slightly. Uh, I think we got two more sets after this one. We got Zane's Dragon Power Spinjitzu Race Car. Someone who named these sets needs to get fired, okay? Because these set names are outrageously long and way too complex. I mean, imagine putting this on your Christmas wish list. I'm pretty sure your parents would get confused. But this is definitely one of those sets that I'm also a really big fan of because I love the whole race car concept. It just looks great, especially with the white, the blue, Zane himself. I mean, it's no secret Zane's my favorite ninja. So his vehicles are obviously sets that I love to see and I love to pick up from time to time. This is definitely one of those sets where I just, I feel like I have to get this one, guys, especially because it's on the more affordable side, I guess. So this is definitely going to be one of those sets that I definitely pick up on day one. And we get an awesome uh, selection of minifigures as well as Cole himself. So I guess he doesn't actually die like he did in the uh, teaser trailers, at least uh, so the community thought. We get awesome uh, villain minifigures as well. Just overall, I'm a really big fan of this one, guys. This one's looking good. The second to last set that we're going to be discussing is kind of a stinker in my opinion. And I was actually really high on this guy yesterday because from the blurry pixelated images that we saw i thought we were going to get an actual molded uh wolf head but that just doesn't seem to be the case with this set and i think it's the detriment of this set i think that's the downfall in my personal opinion the thing that would have made this set an awesome set for me is having an actual molded wolf headpiece and unfortunately lego just didn't take that route and the brick built head just doesn't do the job for me it, it really just doesn't i think this is a wasted opportunity for what else would have been an amazing set i always implore for lego to make villain based sets in ninjago and unfortunately they you know don't really put out too many of them and this is the one set that they did and unfortunately it just doesn't meet my standard of a good looking set so unfortunately it would have been 
a 10 out of 10 with a molded wolf head. Unfortunately, I just, I don't even know if I'm going to pick this one up, guys. This one's looking like a stinker in my opinion. I'm just, I'm, I'm not really liking that that brick built uh, wolf head. So yeah, it probably drops it all the way down to a 5 out of 10 in my opinion. I'm not really that big of a fan of this one. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments. And then the final set to end it all off is the 71789 Kai and Ross's car and bike battle. Like I predicted in yesterday's video, this is of course a junior set, a four plus set, but I figured why not throw this into the uh, set image video just because um, yeah, you know, it's just your standard four plus junior set. Nothing really to be talked about here. Build wise, it just looks decent. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be what, $25, $30, somewhere in that range. So yeah, if you got a little one out there who likes Ninjago or you want them to get into Ninjago, sure, you know, get this set for him. It might be a good starting point for him. But that pretty much concludes my initial thoughts on this set wave. I overall think that this is a unique and diverse set wave that we really haven't seen the likes of before. And in my personal opinion, although it doesn't have the best looking Ninjago builds that we've ever seen, I also don't think that this is a decent or mediocre set wave. I think that there's definitely a few highlights here. And overall, I'm just really appreciative that the designers took those liberties to make an awesome looking set wave that just looks like kids are going to enjoy all across the world so yeah guys those are my initial thoughts on these sets let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out